So we got another free course thing from Google, this time on generative AI training. Uh, it says here on the blog post, seven new no-cost generative AI training courses. This was back in May 18. There are actually three more courses that they have added. If you want to check out this blog article and get the overview of what this entails, feel free. The link is in the description below. Google even has a few of their own preview videos on the page. What we'll do in this video is just skim through these 10 courses. And at the end, I've built a spreadsheet because I'm a spreadsheet guy summarizing all the basic informations of each course for you. And let's dive into it. First up, we've got the, uh, this is the main page for the learning path. They've got a bunch of learning paths. This is a pretty uh, intense resource over here at Google Cloud. This one is free. There are many paid versions as you get into other pathways uh, and so forth. But the one we're looking at today is just about generative AI. Now we've got, as you can see, each course highlighted here with an overview. And they've got all the way down to this last one, this intro to generative AI studio. Um, but starting at the top, we're just going to go into each one of these one by one. The first one is obviously the intro course. Now, if you look over here on the right hand side, we've got a course info panel prerequisites. I don't think any of these have much in the way of prerequisites, uh, audience, languages, what do I do when I finish this course, etc. I've pulled all this information for each course into a nice readable spreadsheet that's also linked in the description below. And we'll look at that towards the end of the video as well. So if you want, you can go through each of these on Google's page, or you can just pull up my spreadsheet, whatever it gets the same information. I'm literally importing the information straight from here. The first course is, uh, it's an intro course. It takes about 45 minutes to complete. I think we've got a video, a document and a quiz. As with all these, there's always these intro courses. We've got another one on large language models up next. So this is another 45 minute one and uh, you can just click enroll on demand course. Let's just go ahead and do that so you see what that looks like. Once you click enroll, then it gives you access to each of these uh, items. We've got the video up first and it just immediately starts playing that video. Then we've got a document that you can pull up and uh, these are pretty extensive, the amount of documentation that they've got, the articles, the additional resources, they've really linked to all sorts of stuff. This is really a repository of information where you can go, I mean, look at this, you can go as deep as you want to. This is a huge uh, research article uh, about the emergence of generative artificial intelligence. Going on to the next course, we've got Introduction to Responsible AI. Uh, again, we've got a video and a quiz. So these are not going to be quick, or excuse me, they are going to be quick. It's not going to take a ton of time to go through these things. We've got generative AI fundamentals. And incidentally, you're going to earn these little skill badges on all of the completions for all of these courses. So if that's an important little uh, thing for you, they've kind of gamified it. As with most of these online courses, you get a little badge saying that you went through all this stuff. Now we're on to introduction to image generation. So same deal here, video and a quiz. Looks like all of these basically have that same type of setup. The next course is encoder decoder architecture, synopsis of this architecture, which is powerful and prevalent machine learning architecture for sequence to sequence tasks. So it uh, looks like we got some TensorFlow. Uh, we'll get into some Python maybe here. Let's look at prerequisites. Yeah, solid basis in Python and TensorFlow. So as we get further into these learning pathways, we will have some prerequisites that will help to bring in to the coursework. The next one is attention mechanism. Another 45 minute or here, prerequisites, uh, pre-existing knowledge of the following, machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, Python programming. So yeah, we're, we're getting into some stuff where we do need some prerequisites, or at least it will be helpful to bring that to the table. You know, I don't know anything about transformer models and BERT model, uh, whatever that is. So as we go into these, you're going to be fine to watch these two videos. In fact, let's enroll in this course and let's go down and see what these videos look like. Yeah, they're 11 minute videos. And we're just going to skip through here. So, you know, we're getting into some stuff that, that may be over 
some folks heads if you don't have some sort of a basis for these type of courses, but I bet it would be interesting. Nonetheless, here's what a quiz looks like. Uh, so they go through some information, which I likely think they will cover in the videos. And you got to get, yeah, all answers must be answered. Questions must be answered before submitting. Lab resource. Now we're over on GitHub. So we really are given access to a lot of stuff. Google's put a lot of time in compiling this. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. Let's go on to the next course, shall we? Create image captioning models. That sounds pretty interesting. Uh, Pre-existing knowledge, machine learning, deep learning, vision, computer vision, Python. Same basic setup. Again, I'm just going to skip through these next couple. We've got Introduction to Generative AI Studio. Uh, in the end, you'll have a hands-on lab to apply what you learned and quiz to test your knowledge. And see, this one, it says no prerequisites. So got a little bit of everything in this coursework. And that's it, everybody. And now, as promised, here is um, what the Google Sheet looks like that I've put together. Feel free to make a copy of this like so. And when that when you do that, you will be able to edit this. You know, I've got it kind of in a dark theme zone here. You may not like that. You can make your own copy and then just boom and then destroy the dark mode and get back into uh, eye destroying whiteness there. Here's all the links to all the courses. All the titles and stuff are pulling from that. These little pics are pulling from that. And then all of the objectives, prerequisites, all this stuff, uh, just a short little synopsis is displayed below each course. Hope that is useful for you. Hey, what do you think about this course uh, or this learning path, rather, this 10-course little series? If you have taken it, let me know your thoughts. If you are planning on it, let me know why and what type of uh, background you're bringing to the table going into it. Hope it's helpful for you. You're awesome. Have a great one. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing more tech content and spreadsheet content like this weekly. Hope you have a great one. Goodbye.